guys hope you're having a great day today it is tuesday happy tuesday morning to you i hope that your morning is going well my morning is going great had a good wake up this morning and the sun is still shining that's a good thing because last night i went to bed and i looked and it showed 100 percent chance of rain all night and then all day as well today so i anticipated just rain all day <laughs> okay that's okay we need some rain around here too but it's looking sunny out so i'm like hmm, maybe it will be a little bit better weather outside today which would be nice so today's video is going to be kind of like yesterday where there's a little bit of motivation to get things done yesterday i cleaned downstairs here um i told you i'm kind of like downsizing this week there's only a few kids here so life is it's cleaner i told, <laughs> I told the kids i'm like wow there's not really any dishes in the sink and the house stays fairly clean. I'm like, hmm, it matters if you've got three more or four more out of the house than in the house all day long. Hold on, I gotta let Maxine in. There's Maxine. She's like, I'm back in my comfy spot. I love how the kids just make her a nest of blankets everywhere. <laughs> so when you only have a few kids at home, it's like, wow, it's so much cleaner. <laughs> My day was so great yesterday. I was like, hmm, I had a lot of extra, it's great in the fact that I had time, more time. Like I didn't have to do a lot of running during the day, like in my mornings and I got to like get through the cleaning, not too many interruptions, it went very well. And so I'm like, it was just a little bit of a break and I get to work my Bible study and I got to swim two times yesterday. Kind of a nice day to do that. So today is gonna be kind of the same thing. So I'm gonna work on just straightening down here, which is literally the couch. And then um, I think yesterday I left because yesterday I did my floor, you saw. Steam mopped it to perfection. Like perfection, like in my eyes. Like I got a lot of the extra dirt that, you know, normally my kids do and they just, they do a good job, but not like a mom job. And so um, I feel like I did great. And then I came out yesterday, I was sitting in the kitchen and I was looking, and I'm like, what is that like splatter all over the floor by the refrigerator? So I assume someone spilled the lemonade or spilled something. I have to assume it's lemonade on the floor and then they wiped it as best you know as, as children do and I'm like oh it seemed like it was just a big splatter of stuff everywhere so I think I'm going to re-steam over there just for the fact to get that off the floor and then um, I think our focus today will be upstairs getting the upstairs cleaned up so I'm gonna do a little bit down here just straighten nothing too you know not too extravagant just a little bit of straightening things down here I'm like staring at my windows the windows one of those things that like I feel like you clean them and you have to clean them over and over and over again I don't know if it's because it's so bright and sunny that you see all the flaws like today it's very humid outside very humid and so like first thing in the morning you just see all the wetness on the window and I'm seeing like all the streaks and all the stuff on there I'm like ah. so if that still is like that a little bit after the sun kind of burns it off I might go and wipe those off we'll see the windows they're my, they're my I remember my dad being like oh my windows are always dirty and I'm like is it just because you're getting older is that why is it just because I'm getting older and I'm like oh look at this the streaks on the window I don't know or maybe I just notice it more here I don't know so we've got things to do down here on the lower level getting things done make food as well and we'll do some clean today hopefully get upstairs and get some upstairs done I've got some down here to do I'd like to do the vacuum under this couch inside the couch that kind of thing all around the corners of the house down here but we'll see we'll see how the day rolls I've got to make some food I had a recommendation like I said most of them are out and last night we had tacos and then they I had a lot of taco meat left over which usually that goes real quick there was a lot of extra so i'm like hmm what am i gonna do with this and so they recommended chili they said they really like chili and they said that's a great meal to have and i'm like chili that's easy it's just throw together like it's one of those staples like everybody likes it so it's not even it's not hard <laughs> so won't be exciting for you guys because it's just throw together chili so i thought i'd make some chili maybe do some cornbread as well and then i'll make some um i've got puppy chow i forgot i got the chicks mix cereal so i'll probably do some puppy chow and that'll be a nice little treat it'll be easy easy lunch we still got sandwich material so it's gonna be an easy day for food for me today um i've got a list of things i want to make later this week but today's gonna be another chiller easy day for me so that's a good thing i feel like those are good days to have once in a while it's good to kind of you know life is busy you're doing a lot you're doing a ton all day long to take a break every once in a while that's a beautiful beautiful thing so let me give you some encouragement for your day and this comes from the book of isaiah chapter 26 verse 4. trust confidently in the lord forever and i like that confidently like do we say we trust in the lord yeah i trust in the lord but then like we doubt with our thoughts we doubt with our words we doubt all those things so it says trust confidently in the lord forever because he is your fortress and your shield he's your fortress which is like a place where you go stand like a castle right you stand there above everybody and be able to look down at your enemies and he's a shield to block you from all the bad that is happening he's also your banner wave your banner look at god he's amazing at what 
he is doing. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock. And they say the rock of ages. So isn't that a good thing that he is the rock? Like he doesn't change. He is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He's solid and firm. Do you ever just want some stability in your life? Do you ever just want... Oh, I just want some stability. I just want some consistency. I just want some assurance in my life. Like, you can get that from God. Like, He's the only one. People are not going to give you assurance. No, families are not going to give you insurance. A job is not going to give you assurance. None of those things. But God is your insurance. And that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So remember, trust confidently. Trust confidently that God is going to continue to do a great work in you because He who has begun it will continue to do it and he's going to do great things in your life. So, you ready for a good day? I am ready for an amazing day. Let's go. Let's start right in the beginning. Right in the beginning from when I first woke up today. Let's go. I came up this morning. had a little bit of um, stuffy nose. I can feel that rain. It's interesting. I'm noticing when it's wetter outside, like rain-wise, like I'll get really irritated. Yesterday and the day before, my eyes were kind of like swollen a little bit. And um, I just felt real drippy in my nose. So I feel like that's the allergy time. So I took Alka-Seltzer the last few days. Just in the morning, it seems like that is about all I need. So I've got, I'm going to take one this morning so I don't have, like feel stuffy all day long. So I'm going to take one of those right here, real simple and easy. And then I'm going to grab my coffee. And then I'm looking over our dishes. Like I think yesterday for the majority of the day, my sink was empty. I don't even know. It was the weirdest thing ever. Like the sink always has something and always, 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 always. I could tell the kids to put them in the dishwasher. I can tell myself to put them in the dishwasher, and we don't. We put them in the sink. <laughs> so I just had to laugh. I'm like, wow, it stayed so clean. <laughs> so I'm just going to throw in. I filled the dishwasher last night after dinner, but I knew there would be kids that came home and ate later, so I was going to throw in the rest of these tonight So though, or today. So I'm going to throw those in and get the dishwasher started because it is going to be me putting away the dishes this morning. So I'm going to throw those in, turn it on, be good to go. I bought new dishwasher pods, the Cascade ones, and they seem to do a really good job on the dishes, but then I had to laugh. I'm like, or is it because I'm loading the dishwasher and I'm making sure that all, most of the food is off the dishes? What is, what is the reasoning? I'm gonna have to kind of see. <laughs> you know how it is. Kids, like our old dishwasher, we used to put food in there all the time, all the time. And you know what? It's still cleaned. It did a fairly good job once in a while. It did, but this one, it seems like you gotta be very good about getting most of your stuff off. Otherwise, it does, you know, stay in the dishes still. So it's good. So I'm gonna just load this up real quick and start it. Maxine slept upstairs last night because of the rain. She doesn't like to stay. It's interesting, her old mountain house, when it storms, she would go downstairs to the lowest level. She'd hide under the girl's bed. She does not like thunder or rain at all. Um, not rain, I guess she doesn't mind rain, but the thunder and the heavy rain, she doesn't like. And so um, usually our old house, she'd go right downstairs. She'd go under Jaden's bed and lay like in her, under her bed, like in a suitcase. Like, yeah, she just doesn't like it. Now here, she goes upstairs when I thought it was interesting. So it, just interesting how she'll do that. So yesterday she was storming and during the day and she like just kept following me. So I sat down for a little bit with her on the couch. She didn't want to sit. She just gets very nervous. And so um, I'm like, Maddie wasn't here. And I'm like, I'm sorry. And so, um, but last night I knew it was gonna, it was raining. And so I thought, oh, she'll probably for sure sleep upstairs in Maddie's room. And she did. <laughs> so I'm like, I'll sit here nice and quiet and um, drink some coffee, do some of my Bible reading and, do a little journaling and just take a few minutes and get um, get ready for my day. That's a good thing to kind of prepare for your day, if you can. If you can't, I understand, but it was good to do that this morning, just kind of sit here and chill and do some. And then I heard her jump down and walk down the stairs and she jumped over on my lap, Bella, happy to see me. <laughs> love a dog, love a dog expression. Dogs can be so happy. They're just like toddlers and babies, right? Where like every time they see you, it's like a whole new excitement. Like, oh my goodness, you came back or oh, you're here. And it's like every day. So it doesn't matter if the kids come home after work. It's like Maxine is super excited to see everybody. It's like a whole new thing. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> the pets, pets in that aspect are are wonderful just for the fact that they they love to see you every day it's like god did a good thing giving us you know cats and dogs that respond like that and i don't know if cats do so much cats sometimes do i guess they're more chill than dogs i think but yes for the for the most part she's super happy so i'm going to take her out see if she wants to go outside here i know if i just open the door she'll walk out and come right back in so i'm gonna step outside with her here and look at the sunny day it looks sunny and nice out right now it's supposed to be a rainy gloomy day but we'll see we'll take the sunshine while we can and then she comes right back in she doesn't she doesn't even give me a second she gets her bone goes and eats it and then she's gonna come lay on the couch
for the most part, the dishes are clean. I had to laugh opening up the cup cupboard. Normally, this is completely empty by the end of the day. Again, just showing you how a household with just a few people in it, they're, they don't use that many dishes. <laughs> So just putting these away, they cleaned really good. Um, the a couple of my cheese graters had cheese still stuck in I know, so I just washed and rinsed that off. But that was just because it was like stuck on there. My own fault for putting it in there and not completely rinsing it. So this was good. And then I just have a little strainer in the bottom here. And I'm just dumping that out as well to make sure no food gets accumulated around there. So there was just a few things, but nothing too bad. So easy, easy when you put away small amounts of dishes. <laughs> now I understand the mamas just have a few kids. It really is real quick to do it. Now the dishes are all put away. I'm just gonna throw in a lot of towels. We always have towels pretty much every day because we're swimming or and from the kitchen. And then I'm gonna throw those in and then I'm gonna get my steam mop out real quick. I'm just gonna steam mop this area of the kitchen by the refrigerator because that is where um, the stuff got spilled. So they, did a, they did a decent job picking it up, but I feel like the steam mop will get it much better. As I'm doing the floor, I'm seeing like crumbs flick everywhere. So it's amazing, the dirt. <laughs> so I'm going to, um, I'll definitely do this just to get that sticky part gone. And then I will, um, I'm going to probably do the vacuum down here in a little bit, but I think I'm going to take, I'll either run the vacuums down here today or I'll just get the big vacuum out and do the corners and stuff in here today. We'll see what happens, but definitely need to like clean the floor up as well to get all the crumbs off. Before I start on too much like cleaning and stuff today, I want to get dinner done. It's pretty much in slow cooker. See all this taco meat? That's a lot of taco meat. I think the beans stretched it. I was anticipating more hunger and that did not happen. That's quite all right. So, there's a lot of beans there and meat. So, we do a chili taco, something we've been doing forever. I guess it's more like taco soup, some would say. We've just been making it forever and everybody loves it. They like it. I used to enter it into our community. Um, chili cook-off, 10 kid taco chili. So one one of the uh, some of the years that we were there, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. So I'm just gonna put this in here. I'm gonna add a little bit less because I'm gonna have to look at the size here of what I got in here because I've already got some beans in there and they're the mixed beans. So we'll have to kind of see what we got. Basically any kind of beans you want. I haven't even put lima beans in here because I had some. And all you need is some diced tomatoes. You can add a whole can of corn. I'm going to add some green chilies as well because I have this and I always forget about it. And this will be good because this will be done. It's early in the morning. 
it's not even the time to uh, everybody moving and grooving. So that's a good thing. We'll have all this part done. I'm gonna get this cook all day, and then I'm gonna, I was looking for. Um, I thought I bought the Czech cereal. I'm like, where did I put it? Because I knew I put it somewhere so it wouldn't get eaten as cereal. And so I just find it up in my cupboard over there. So I will get that out and make some Czech mix as well this morning. And that'll be good. That'll be a nice treat. All right, let's get these out there. And all the cans. Kind of add it and then just stir it. Just kind of see what it looks like. You might need to add more beans. It just depends. See here. And then your flavoring is going to be taco seasoning, which I already have in my meat, and um, ranch powder. That's it. That's what makes the flavoring, I think. There's some chili beans. They're not chili beans. Kid beans. Let's strain these. Oh, this is great, it's simple and easy, it's done. I don't have to do anything for this. I'm gonna turn it on low and just plug it in. Let's keep it over here. Okay, I'm gonna start on my treat, the dessert I wanna make today. It's gonna be puppy chow. Easy, we've been making this forever. Recipe in my cookbook. This is our family cookbook. We've got everything we've been making forever. So people, a lot of people say, you changed the way you cook. No, because if you look at this cookbook, I make the same ones I've made, and this is back 25, 30 years ago. <laughs> Not 30, 25 years ago. I've been making the same food. So a lot of the same things in here. But if you don't know, if you don't have a cookbook, you can also look on the back of the cereal box. They have it as well. So I'm going to do, we like to mix the rice squares with the corn squares. It just gives a little bit more crunch in there. I'll put pour those into a big giant bowl and then mix up in the microwave. I'm going to do peanut butter and chocolate chips and melt them, stir it together. Yummy, delicious, everybody loves it. I remember having this back in grade school before the internet was a thing. And somebody brought it to school and it was, they called, they called it puppy chow. And I was like, dog food, that's gross. <laughs> but it's a favorite, everybody loves it. So let's put some um, in here in the, me in the measuring bowl here and then put it in the microwave. Okay, I got the puppy chow done, which was good. Got a big container and a bag. That will disappear real quick. Put it over there so that all the powder stays over there with the chili. I'm gonna wash out my dishes here and then I'll probably work on the cornbread, get that in the oven, that'll be done. And the next one I'm gonna do is sweet cornbread. This is something we enjoy doing. Some may like a regular, I say savory cream cornbread. We like the sweet one. I've been using this recipe for ever. I've only got a few that love it in the household. 
There's only a couple that like it, but oh, I could eat cornbread all day. Like I think it's so, so good. I'll take it and just eat it for breakfast, crumble up and put out a salad. It's just delicious. So I'm gonna mix this up, put everything in here, just whisk with your whisker, put it in a pan, break it for 375. 350 for about 30 minutes. It's yummy and delicious. And this will be great as a side for the chili. So I'm used to doing my normal chores and just what I do and I forget like, oh, the kids have chores. So I'm trying to look at the list and remember, what do they do to it? Like Maxine's water. I don't ever feed Maxine. I normally don't ever because Maddie does that. So I'm like, she's not here. So I'm like, okay, give her some water. She's still got food. She ate all the little brown bacon pieces out and left the rest, <laughs> but she'll eat it. And then um, I have like cleaned the bathroom down here. Probably just wipe that off and do that. And, and then dusting is another, another thing that they do. So I might get the dust out and do the dusting down here. We'll move upstairs later, but I'm gonna get some water here nice. Something I did in my freezer, we have, look at my kids, my kids have drawing. You see all the rats, the little squealer rats on my refrigerator. <laughs> my kids um, <laughs> will do like a drawing contest. They'll draw one thing and then everybody's gonna draw something on there. So this is all there. The rats, don't kill them, he has a rat club. So just something funny and goofy they come out and do. So anyways, my ice machine, this refrigerator, like our other one, like you know, old school refrigerator, you can see like the ice and everything up here. This one I have found, it does not do a ton of ice. There's usually a tray that goes in here and what happens is that if the ice builds up in the back, which it does right away and you forget about it, it doesn't make any more, it doesn't push it forward. So there's some days we're completely like low on ice and so I was filling up bags. And then yesterday I was like, why can't I just take the tray out and put it in the container, the whole thing. So that is what I'm doing. It mixes the ice up, but we have a whole lot of ice then. I'm not sure if that'll be a bad thing or what, but I'm thinking for now, I think that that's gonna work out to, uh, it doesn't open anymore, to be good for the ice. Then we'll have a lot of it, because I was like, even yesterday we only had you know, a few people at home, I'm like, wow, I made a lot of ice today. And I'm like, yeah, the difference between, you know, eight of us getting ice than just like three of us getting ice. There's not a whole lot in there. So took it out, see how it does. I can't imagine. I started like making it. I'm like, oh, I actually hear it making ice. But I'm like, is it going to keep going? Is it going to overflow? What is it going to do? But I think it's going to be good. So I'll get some water here. And then um, let me go get my dusting stuff and we'll do some. What else do we got? Yeah, then I'll get my dusting mitt and we'll do some dusting. On the extra list today is dusting, so I'm gonna take a little dust mop, take this stuff off, dust mop, dust mitt, and wipe everything down. It's not, this stays really clean pretty much. It's just this TV and the window sills, that's it. It'll be very simple. <laughs> this 
not very aesthetic, but I think in a real household, this is what it would look like. <laughs> so I just keep my purse here because I know I'm gonna have to head out the door later today. I keep my Bible and the books to read right here. I just, I would put them in my bedroom, but I don't usually read when I go to bed. I usually am falling asleep. So out here, it's one of those things like, okay, and I put them in my office. I don't go up to my office all the time. So it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. So down here, I see it and I go, okay, I need to do some reading, but it's there. And then I've got my TV stand here, or TV stand, shelves that we put up. The, um, I keep the wasp bottle right here because like yesterday I sprayed the wasp nest outside and then I was gonna put it away and just like leave it out so we see it and we don't forget to go out there. I have to let it sit for a few days I think and then scrape it off. But this is easy, wipe this off. What I did, I got some flowers for Mother's Day. I believe these are, I don't know if these are lavender or what they are, they look like it. We bought some lavender at Hobby Lobby and put it in here. Um, it's pretty and then this, I'm like, this is like dry lavender so I stuck that in there as well. So, I don't know, just something different, something easy. Let me just wipe this off real quick. I like to keep my mitt. I get the thumb part wet, and then that way, um, when I get to like this wood where someone put their you know, drink cup that leaves a water mark on it, then it's easy to wipe off. We've got so many remotes here. I think I'm gonna put these all in the drawer, except this is the fan remote. We use that all the time. The TV remote? I don't even know, is that? I don't even know which is the TV. I don't think this is the TV. I think this is a DVD. This is the DVD. I'll put these in the drawer over here. Funny when little things are like drive you crazy and then after a while it really doesn't bother you. Like I have these cords hanging down right here. And at one point I was gonna have Greg just drill holes in the wall, but like after it's one of those things like it's out of sight, out of mind. You don't even bother seeing it sometimes. So you guys see it and that's the Remember this thing about, this was on the floor the other day. I'm like, the sticky or sticky bot person. I don't even know who found that. It's all good. We just have a few things out here. I'd like to go to Hobby Lobby eventually, I'm sure, in time, and look up some like summer decor stuff. Just a few things to put up, because I've got a lot of plants and stuff like that, which can stay out all year round, but I'd like to get some like flowers for my kitchen. Like I've got the pink ones that I did this springtime. Kind of like to see what they have for some summery ones to put out just to change things up, but in time, that's gonna require a little trick because it's not near us. Sticky bot, I guess he's gonna stay on top of there. This is good, the TV, I don't think, the kids aren't as little anymore where they touch the TV and leave fingerprints all over it as bad, so it's pretty easy to wipe. We do have lots of little tables and stuff to wipe off though now. So I'm just waiting on the bread in the oven and then um, I'll take it out and then I think we're gonna go for a swim. Greg's and I are gonna go for a swim this morning. Take a little break, get outside, get some, cause it's kind of supposed to storm all day. It shows rain, I think all day. Yes, it's showing rain from 10.28 a.m. all the way, all the way till about 3.30. So that'll be good. So I'm thinking we'll go take a break, go swim outside for a little bit, get some little bit of relaxing and then uh, we'll continue with work today. Okay, back inside now, did our swim, got done, had some breakfast slash lunch, ate, I had another grain bowl, so I ate the grain bowl, and then now I'm gonna vacuum. I'm gonna take the vacuum, do the stick through all the floors, get like the corners under the couch, that kind of stuff, and get that set for down here. I was gonna work upstairs today, but I probably won't get up there today. Probably work downstairs in my bedroom.
Okay, you notice Maxine is like out of control when I'm using the vacuum. I'm like, Maxine, she doesn't even do it. She just tries to chew it like crazy. I put it right to her so she can suck at it. She runs away. No good. Okay, let me finish up here. Most got most of it underneath. The hose doesn't go all the way to the back wall, but I don't know, once or tw maybe once a year we'll pull it out and vacuum back there, but it's fine. It's the power's a little reach. So I'm just gonna do that and do the vacuum over here. She's so bad. <laughs> Can you see all the teeth marks on this? Look at this. Look at all the teeth marks on top of this thing. She's like biting it like crazy. <laughs> you done? Did you win the battle? She's literally laying down. Did you win? Good job. She's like, Mom was trying to keep you safe from the evil vacuum. Okay, so that was good. Got the um, couch cleaned off, which is good, and then just stick the hose into a little bit so it gets the crumbs that go by there. And then um, underneath, as best I can, and then under here, the vacuum pretty much gets under the stove and stuff, which is nice. Okay, so everything down here is vacuum. The robot vacuum gets underneath the stove because it goes under there, but there's a couple spots like behind the legs. Over there it goes, there's like a piece of wood that comes in front so it doesn't get all behind everything perfectly and under the fridge, of course. Fridge is really heavy. Our old one was a lot easier to pull out than this one. So I don't pull this one out. <laughs> And so um, there's a few things way underneath there. It'll be one of those like we go to replace it or do something, and there'll be a whole bunch of stuff under the fridge. That's okay. That's quite all right. So let me make things like done. It like exhausted her trying to save me from the, the terrible vacuum. So that's good. That was something I wanted to do and get that done. So that's off my list today. And I think I'm going to go in Brooklyn's vacuum upstairs, the bathroom and her bedroom, and do my bedroom because I know that is definitely in need for some. Uh, deep cleaning. Okay, I'm starting to wash bedding off my bed. I just got a blanket in right now. It's funny, we got those two blankets. Remember I got the cooling one and the milky plush one that was more for winter. It's funny because I like the cooling one. Greg likes the other one, so I laugh because I'm like, it's like a older lady blanket with the flowers, but he says it's very comfy. <laughs> and it is comfy. I just like the coolness blanket, so. <laughs> funny how two different people like two different things, and that's okay. So I'm gonna clean my bathroom because it is in dire need. It's dirty and messy. It needs a good clean. So let me get out my supplies here and we'll clean away.
I'm gonna have to come back by and do the window with my Norx cloth. I'm gonna clean the shower now because that's definitely got spots all over it. Cleaned out my toilet, didn't show you that, restocked my um, cabinetry above the toilet with toilet paper, which I'll clean that cabinet. I'm just gonna rinse this off out here. We keep mixing a bath in here, I know. The bathtub doesn't even get used for humans, it's for the dog. <laughs> so this is where she gets her bath. I just need to rinse it, it's been clean. I just need to rinse it off here. Let me get a cleaner scrubby. One thing I do not feel like doing is hand washing the floor today. That's okay, so I put the vacuum in here. I'll vacuum the floor up and then I'll steam mop it. When I throw my paper towels on the floor, I wanna steam mop under here too. Put the paper towels up on top, let's clean. Okay, let's vacuum in here with a regular vacuum and my closet and I'll steam mop it. I'm looking outside, it's pouring rain, pouring rain outside. So my day just got a little bit busy. I was supposed to get upstairs and do work. That just didn't happen. So I will just uh, keep my focus down here. This is perfect. My bathroom is cleaned. I've got laundry put in the washing room, made my bed, I didn't show you that, made my bed, picked up my room, it's all picked up. I'm gonna go clean the vacuum out, just this vacuum. We usually clean it once a week because it gets very full of dirt and dust and all that wonderful thing. It's just pouring rain outside. I'll probably go upstairs and edit for a little bit to uh, for my afternoon. That's it, it's like food's done. I could do more cleaning, but I feel like I'm done. I never did the downstairs bathroom today. There's always tomorrow. We can clean the downstairs bathroom. Not many people use that one. <laughs> We'll do that one tomorrow. That's another day. This is good. I've got the good vacuuming done. That was something I want to do. Dust in the living room. Um, and now my bedroom. And this is a room that I wanted to get done as well. So perfect. Okay, let's go clean this out and then we'll go head upstairs and edit. So I came upstairs here and I'm pulling footage off of my SD card and I'm going to edit for a little bit. It's about 1.30 right now. Maybe I'll edit for about an hour. It's just dreary and rainy outside. I'm like, ugh, it's like yucky day. You don't want to do anything. I don't even want to do any more cleaning. Just want to, It's one of those days you want to snuggle up on the couch and watch a video. So I'm going to edit. Probably take about an hour to edit and then we'll go from there.
Okay, I've been editing here for about an hour and I'm looking at my time and I'm like, you know what, what do I have to do for the rest of the night? I have to go take Brooklyn to work and I gotta pick up the girls from the thing they are at. So I think I'm just gonna close today's video. You know what we're having for dinner tonight? Chili, chili and cornbread. Easy, it's dreary rainy, I'm not gonna do any more work. It is early. I'm hoping that I get to sit and do some reading tonight. Maybe I got a book I'd love to start reading and just relax. What's that on a Tuesday? <laughs> I still have laundry to do. I gotta flip some laundry out, but for the most part, do nothing. That would be kind of nice. Hmm, something different for today. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. A little bit of cleaning and getting some inspiration, getting some things done, having an easy day, and then taking a break tonight. So you have a fantastic rest of your day. Come back tomorrow. We'll do some more stuff. I know we gotta do some more stuff. I might turn to the store tomorrow. We maybe run to the store just to get a few things. We'll see. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.